Hey, 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 everybody. Good Monday to you. I'm Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And every Monday, sometimes Tuesday, I bring to you a video that shares with you what's happened over the last week and what's coming up in the next week with the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And just to keep you updated on our activities. Um, last Saturday, this past Saturday, we had Earth Day. And what a lovely, lovely time it was. Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, along with the uh, Las Cruces, uh, City of Las Cruces Sustainability Office, the NMSU Sustainability Office, the South Central Solid Waste Authority, Keep Doniana Beautiful, Keep Las Cruces Beautiful, just a group of uh, the March for Science folks all work together to coordinate uh, a really big Earth Day celebration on the Plaza de Las Cruces. We had over 40 vendors there. Um, we had Don Pepion from Native American Studies start off our Earth Day with the Touch the Earth initiative. And it was such a wonderful, powerful message that we need to touch the earth literally touch the earth in order to remind ourselves of the connection that we have and how we need to take care that the earth provides for us that we need to provide for the earth and take care of it um, also had some great live performers a big thank you to the new world drummers also soul shine buddy aiken and jackal uh, for performing and we have the recycling fashion show uh, to finish off the day and so it was a good day a lot of folks came by tree stewards were giving away trees every 15 minutes if you're thinking gosh darn it i wish i was there Yes, you should have been there, and we'll see you next year. That's for sure. Um, so a big thank you. Also, the Cruces Can, uh, Cruces Kids Can, uh, had some young entrepreneurs there, and they were selling right next to me, selling lemonade. Um, great job, guys. Um, and also, they were in La Placita showing off some really innovative uh, entrepreneurial ideas from young people. I mean, literally, these kids are like 8 to 12 years old. I think there was one that was probably 16 um, but it was a really great way to support our young entrepreneurs um, and uh, get their wares out there. So just a great day. Plus, of course, we were there with the Farmers and Crafts Market. So, man, if you weren't downtown, you were missing out, I can tell you. Um, I do want to give a shout out to some renewals. We've had a really great onslaught of renewing members uh, to the Green Chamber. So a big thank you to the Copier Guy and to Publishing, United Way of Southwest New Mexico, New Mexico Wilderness Alliance, Summer Rose Nolan, financial advisor with New York Life, and Karina and Stuart o Oberman, who are friends of the Green Chamber. And we've got brand new member Enhance uh, joining us, and so we're really happy about that. Thank you all so much. A lot of you have gotten your renewal notices, and we'd love to have you renew in time for our membership party, which is two days, count them, two days away um, at the Grapevine Event Center, uh, Picacho Peak Brewing Company. Uh, if you'd like to become a member, private message me here. I'll be more than happy to tell you about that. If you're concerned about your membership or have questions about it, uh, private message me well, and I will answer your questions. Um, so uh, we've got a couple of things coming up this week, but I do want to remind you that you've got one more week to participate in the contest from SBH Web Design where you will get uh, an illustration that, uh, you, that he does. He does these really great jobs on this. So go to sbhwebdesign.com forward slash contest dot html. You have until April 30th. Stephen Harris from SBH Web Design will be in next week, and we will do the drawing for that. Um, and so we've had RSVPs for our annual membership meeting. You can look down below this post, and you can see how you can click on that link to go ahead and RSVP to us. We do like to have RSVPs so we know how many folks that the Grapevine Plaza will need to accommodate. Um, we'd love to do that. Also, just a couple of uh, highlights of coming up in the following week. Um, we have our Outdoor Economics Conference on May 3rd and 4th, and this is really highlighting what Las Cruces has done uh, around our Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument. We've got people from all over the West coming, woohoo! coming from Utah and from Colorado and Washington State and Nevada and I believe Arizona, uh, folks coming to talk about the economics of public spaces. Um, we lead the way in that. And uh, it's going to be a great opportunity. So if you'd like to know more, go to OutdoorEconomicsNM.com and you can register. It's only 25 bucks to go to the conference. And uh, it's going to be an incredible day. Plus, also with your conference registration, you get to sign up for a free tour. Hello. Look at the page. Go to OutdoorEconomicsNM.com and you'll be able to see that. Also, our first Friday on Friday, May 4th, will be the one and only Tina Ballou of NM.co Media talking about Facebook for your nonprofit and business. If you want to learn ways to maximize your Facebook presence, this is the first Friday you want to go to. Trust me. All right, that's about it. A um, lot going on, getting a lot of stuff ready. By the way, at our annual membership meeting, we get to announce the sustainable business of the year. But I can't tell you. It's a secret. 
but you know them and you love them and they're great people in this community. All the folks who have participated in it were fantastic. Um, but we get to recognize them at our membership party on Wednesday night. So that's another reason for you to go. RSVP to me. Carry at localloscruces.com. Alrighty, that's about it for the day. Have a great week if we don't see you before then. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you at one of our upcoming events. And as always, we appreciate you thinking local first. Think local, buy local, give local, eat local, drink local. You know, all the localist stuff. Be a localist today. Thanks so much. Have a great week.